morning once again. So I have another request from Cow here. Uh, this one is Bilbo versus Gallows Bird, so the Green or the Green Witch versus whatever Gallows Bird is he was actually named. Um, it was easier to remember him by this, and uh, frankly, I think it sounds cooler. It was some weird feeling or something that he was named after. But anyhow, we'll assume that uh, these two had some sort of global warming disagreement out in the Arctic. And, uh, you know, Bilbo's a bit of a hippie. Probably turned that thing into a little bit of a, a little bit of a gunfight. All right, so uh, Bilbo is basically entirely energy, really trash AI. So just like she is an AC3. Uh, Gallows Bird is a spread laser build, uh, along with orbit cannons. So also entirely energy based. Also not particularly fantastic, but he's pretty decent, uh, at least by comparison. I, I basically gave him these particular orbits because uh, well, they looked more like what he was originally using. Uh, even though his originals only have like 14 shots, and now he has 60, so it's a little bit of an upgrade. But considering how long the fights last, that's not a terribly big factor. Now Bilbo... she's awful. So she's been awful this whole leaving herself draining despite having no shell weapons whatsoever. That is exactly what she does. Tends to overheat pretty much immediately. And herself to run herself into nothing pretty much immediately. And a lot of the time just sits down and uses her cannon because of reasons. So personally I don't think she has much of a shot, but both of them kinda have similar energy consumption issues, so we'll see. Uh, and yeah, this is as slow as her normal recharge rate is. It is how it is. This was about as valid as I can make her. And Dalvin's considering she's not doing too badly. I was thinking about giving her some energy extensions, but that seemed a little bit too nice. Seems like she wouldn't want artificial batteries or something. Probably considered offensive or something like that. And squished. All right, now. I'll change the maps though, because this feels like it's very heavily favoring him. I'm still going to count a win towards Gallows Bird, but it feels like that's kind of where that was going. Now this map's closer range, it, you know, you'd think the guy with the shotgun has a major advantage here. He kind of does, but she also isn't running up and down trying to get into shooting range, so you can call it the mixed blessing, shall we say. So that weird hole that's always in the back of all um, upper cores. And a little, uh, little energy hole there. Oh, nice here over there, Peanut. The little one just sneezed. There we go. Now she's doing a little bit better. Right before she gets completely wrecked. All things considered, uh, she's actually got a pretty decent uh, defense advantage over this guy. And also, I don't remember the main reason I gave him the uh, starter uh, hanger core. I never call him um, overboosting. Which again could just be a memory thing. I haven't played AC2 in quite some time now. Um, also, good job, Bilbo. You have thoroughly friggin' wrecked yourself. This, this loss is entirely on you. Yeah, this map, it's not necessarily close range, it's actually a pretty good mix of different stuff. But I don't think she's got a chance in hell, frankly. Yeah... I think it's pretty safe to call it. So there you go, Cal. You're wondering, you got your answer. He would definitely win. Also that sweet elevator music in here. 
Oh, well, actually, he might be charging too. That'd be something if she pulled it back at this point. Not unheard of, but... <laughs> Where are we getting? Yeah, and that's it. There you go. 